the tropics are starting to get a little busy, but everything is way far away from us out in the central Atlantic near the northern coast of South America. This area in red here, a 70% chance this turns into something tropical over the next two days. That's highlighted by the National Hurricane Center that should move to the west and stay well to our south. That could be our second named storm of the season if it can gain enough strength. Another area to watch just to the east here in yellow has a lower chance for development moving to the west and northwest, both as the week progresses, likely moving into the southern Caribbean Sea. Now there's another area to watch in the Gulf of Mexico. I know it's closer to us, but we don't have to worry about this. This is really just a trough of low pressure it's expected to move to the southwest towards southern Texas over the next couple of days. Very low end chance for development. Really just going to provide the support for more scattered storms in the central and western Gulf states over the next few days. Here at home, today is going to be really beautiful, mostly dry. Temperatures this week actually trending downward. So today, today will probably be the hottest day of the week. We have a cold front heading in our direction. Not really going to cool us down a lot, but it's going to provide those daily storm chances starting tomorrow. Here's that cold front moving through the southeast right now. Tracking some storms well to our north. I think we'll trend mainly dry today. A lot of dry air in place. That's also going to make it feel less humid outside for our Monday. Only that's the case for today. It's going to start to feel more humid heading into tomorrow. Forecast and focus showing a plentiful sunny day. Maybe a few scattered clouds popping up as the day progresses. Could see a stray shower or storm in the southeast Big Bend this evening. Very hit or miss about a 20% chance. Now the cold front draws near tomorrow. Pretty much stalls out in our area and can provide the support and lift for some scattered storms popping up during the day. Could see some coastal showers and rumbles of thunder throughout the morning, but heading into the afternoon, that's the best chance to get those pop corn scattered pop up showers and storms much like we do in the summertime. The only difference is we could get a few heavier downpours with a lot of moisture starting to work back into the area, but heavy downpours also look to be possible heading into your Wednesday. Now Tuesday and Wednesday won't be washouts. We'll get sunny breaks in between the pop up storms, but that's what we're looking at this week. Temperatures today topping out in the mid 90s, 95 in Tallahassee, same for Thomasville, lower 90s in the southeast Big Bend. And then as we go throughout the rest of the work week, temperatures will be in the low lower 90s because of the presence of more scattered clouds and the chance to see those pop up storms heading into each and every afternoon when we tap into the daytime heating. So not complete washouts. There is still time to enjoy the dryness, but we'll get that much needed rain as we head into this week. Stick around. We've got more coming up after the break.